Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you may know, I have moved and so I've been so busy unpacking, but I really have been wanting to get back out to the big box stores just to see if anything new has come out since I last went shopping. So today I'm at Lowe's and I'm going to see if they have anything new, but I'm actually here because I wanted to redo my porch area or actually just decorate my porch area. So I wanted to get a couple of topiary plants and a large statement plant, maybe a tropical arrangement or something like that to put in a really nice pot. So let's go in and see what they have. Looks like they have a new shipment of plants. I wonder what's in here. The guy's just bringing them inside, so I'm not even gonna bother, but let's see what's inside. They have some canna lilies over here for $13.98. And this is the Tropicana Gold variety. All right, so here they have some Eugenia topiaries, $51.98. Here they have a tall version of the swirly kind, the one that goes like that. And then they have a smaller one right here. So let's see how much the smaller one is. $33.98 for the smaller one. And then they have the ones with the two round parts to it. I kind of like that swirly one. So they're both $33.98 for the smaller ones, but I did see them at Walmart for a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna check there as well. All right, so over here they have some Birds of Paradise. The ones here on the left are white Birds of Paradise for $24.98. And then this one right here is the orange Bird of Paradise for $19.98. You can see the orange strip right down the middle of the leaf. So eventually I'm gonna be doing the landscaping around the house and I would like to incorporate some of these foxtail ferns right here. And these are going for $16.98. I think they're so pretty. They have a Tratoscanthia basket up there, $15.98, nice and full. Some quarter lines, $16.98. Then they have some elephant ears, $18.98. Up here they have some hanging plants here. They have a heartleaf philodendron and a hanging basket, $19.98. And a bunch of urban jungle plants and ceramic pots for it says $29.98, but I think these are less. Let's see. $16.98, actually. I guess that's for the bigger pots that are back there. So here they have some blue star fern. Looks like a button fern. Neon pothos. Hartley philodendrons. Let me check the other side, see if anything's over there. Oh, they have some syngoniums here. Here they have a bunch of philodendron xanadus, $26.98. Agaves, $26.98. Oh, look at these cute little moonlight philodendrons. This is a smaller pot. Never seen these here at Lowe's, $12.98. Super cute. Guys, this is the new delivery here. They have some really large palm trees and here they have some corn plants. I think there's some birds of paradise in there. I'm gonna see how much those are, but they're nice and fresh. Guys, I just opened up this huge box and I already see they have some really nice Monstera Deliciosas in here. 
So these Monstera Deliciosas are nice and healthy. They're going for $15.98. Look how huge this leaf is. That looks like the newest leaf. I think I might wanna do something with one of these or even two maybe. Looks like they also have money trees in here and some more birds of paradise. I'll try to come back in a couple days when they have them unpacked. Guys, they also have olive trees here for $13.98. Arbequinha olives. Also, check out this sweet pepper tree. It's only $14.98 and it's loaded with peppers. All right, so I'm inside now. They have some really large fiddly figs here. 120. So here's a quick look at the live trends section. Look what they have in the smaller plants now for $4.98. The Diefenbachia compacta. This thing will grow so big if you repot it. So they do have these really pretty hydrangeas for $27.99. And I think these will be really pretty at the front door. So this is an option. Look at these roses. Beautiful. $24.98. So out here right at the entrance, they have some more urban jungle plants for $13.98. Look how cute this Mykins is. They have a bunch of these now. Also looks like some Pothos and Joy. It's hard to tell on these. They might be jade and pearls, but there's a lot of white, just white and no marbling. So could be Pothos and Joy. Look at this one. That looks like Pothos and Joy to me. I don't see any marbling whatsoever. I remember when these were so hard to find, the Pothos and Joy and Mykins. Here they have some string bean peperomias. White jewel dracaena. some money trees okay so i think i have an idea this white pot right here it has that concrete look to it that i'm going for they have these in white and in tan but the white actually matches better with my house 
So I picked up these two Monstera Deliciosas, $15.98 each. I think the two of those combined in here with some white stones to kind of weigh it down some will be really pretty. And also it'll lift up the plant so it's nice and tall. So I think I'm gonna go with this for now. And then I'm gonna work on looking for some more of the topiaries for the front. I also wanted to add a little bit of color. So I was looking at those hydrangeas, but I think I might check Walmart and see what they have over there before I pick up anything else here. All right, guys, I am now at Walmart and I found some of the Eugenia topiary plants. And I remember that they were a good price here. They're $14.88 each opposed to, I think it was like $31.98 at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, they've actually grown out a lot and they don't have the round shape to them, but that's okay because you could see this is where they were rounded before. So I would just have to trim them, but they actually look pretty cute let's see like that but I still will probably go ahead and trim them a little bit but um yeah and I got a welcome mat it doesn't say welcome but it's just a doormat and I'm trying to decide on two matching pots but I have so many pots at home that I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do inventory on the ones that I have so far at my house. Although I don't think I have any matching ones other than the Costa Farms Trending Tropicals and I don't want anything thin or whatever that can break sitting on the front porch. And those are kind of small at six inches, but I'm gonna see what I have first and then I'll go from there. Hey guys, so I'm back in the car and I'm exhausted. I've been out plant shopping and back and forth from Home Depot, Lowe's, and Walmart all day long. I got some really nice greenery. It's actually everything that I planned on getting before I left the house, which was um, a really nice large plant to put in one corner and two topiary plants right next to the front door and a welcome mat. So, oh, and also um, a large pot. So I'll give you a little update when I go ahead and start repotting the plants and put them in place so you can see how everything turns out. So I got these two topiaries potted up in these Better Homes and Garden pots right here. And I just gotta clean them up. I used black gold. Let's see if I have the bag. I thought I had the bag out here, but I used black gold soil in those. And I went ahead and I started potting up these two Monstera Deliciosas inside this concrete pot. What I did, because I wanted it to be up higher, is I added half a bag or maybe a little more than a bag of these exotic garden stones to the, like maybe the midpoint. And then I started adding this miracle Grow tropical potting mix which by the way, I wanted to show you, it's actually a good um, looking kind of mix. It does look different than their normal mix. It says it has lava rock in it. So let me show you guys. This is what this is looking like. It looks like it has sand in it. And then you can see the little chips of lava rock. So it claims to be um, very well draining. And um, I could tell it's different, so. I wanted to add that to try it out. And I'm just gonna, oh, I also added this orchid potting mix, which I really love because it's nice and chunky. It has charcoal in it and orchid bark. And so now I'm just gonna top it off with more of this tropical potting mix by miracle Grow, and then add these white stones to top dress it. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. We got these topiary plants from Walmart and we put them in these white pots by Better Homes and Gardens. And then those two lanterns are also from Walmart by Better Homes and Gardens. And the mat is also from Walmart. 
Um, these are the two Monstera Deliciosas that we combined and we put in this concrete planter. We put half the bag of rocks on the bottom, then filled it up with soil and orchid bark. Then on the top, we top dressed it with some of the large stones, but we gotta get more of those. And um, I just really wanted to lift it up and I used the stones also to weigh down this pot just in case. But um, you guys know how these grow. So I think this is the perfect environment out here. It's gonna get a lot of sun and also shade and this is covered as well. So that's that corner. And the only other thing I wanna do is to get a wreath for the door. So I'm hoping that I can get one made. Uh, we also laid down these white chip stones from Home Depot. I used four bags here, but I'm gonna need at least two more Wondering if I could cover that. Yeah, so, so far that's what it's looking like. And when I get the wreath, I'll update you guys with the finished product. Here's a quick update on the front porch. So initially I had gotten two of these topiary plants from Walmart to go on the left and the right side of the front door and I felt like something was kind of missing. I got another topiary plant and another lantern to go on this side. Also, we finished filling in this area with white stones. However, there is a really large plant next door that constantly blows leaves over here. So this is a real problem aesthetically, but I do have a blower and I guess I'm gonna have to come out here every day and blow these leaves out of here and off of the porch because as you can see, they're all up here also, which is a pain in the butt, but no pun intended. Um, it's really windy today also, so the leaves are blowing like crazy. So it really wouldn't make any sense for me to come out here and blow them. It's the next day and I'm out here with the blower that I purchased from Walmart. So I'm gonna see if I could try to get some of these leaves blown up. I did use this once already, so hopefully the battery's charged up good enough. But here we go. All right, so that's actually the best that I can get this right here. I think some of those leaves are kind of embedded under the rocks, but a lot of them did come up, so it's a little bit cleaner. I really like my Monstera. I gotta give it a good watering, and I still have to pop that up inside the pot. Also, the only other thing is that I need to get my wreath for the front door which I've already asked my sister to make for me because she makes really beautiful door wreaths. Excuse my scratchy voice. But I showed her a few examples of what I want and so I'll keep you updated and show you when I finally get my wreath. Big Lots also had some nice welcome signs, but they weren't exactly what I was looking for. So I'll probably go to Hobby Lobby and see what they have over there and pick up some of the wooden beads for my wreath. So I'm in Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna see if they have the wooden bead wreath. Here's some of the plant pots that they have. Looks like they're on clearance. Let's 
heavy. I like this one right here. 25 for this one. I have two of these already. I think it's this size. The smaller one, $13.99. And then the larger one's $18.99. These down here are nice also. $31.99. And then this one has like a terracotta on the bottom, $24.99, and it has like a blue glaze. This one over here looks sort of like terrazzo, but it's more of a glazed ceramic, $32.99. Up there they have their faux topiary plants. The swirly ones, $129.99. They're actually all $129.99. They also have these baskets. These are the wooden bead wreaths that they have. They come in three different sizes. The one in the middle is kind of small for what I'm looking for. So I picked up these two right here, the large and the medium. So I'll decide exactly which one I'm going to use. Um, the guy that works here actually said that they had some previously that were already made up with the faux flowers, but he thinks they were discontinued. Um, I'll take you over there by the wreaths so you can see which wreaths they already have because until my sister makes this one, I might just pick up one to put on the door temporarily. Not this aisle. Okay, so this aisle here has a bunch of wreaths. I like this one right here. Then they have larger ones like this. So let me see how much these wreaths are going for. They may even be on sale. I don't think they do the 40% off anymore, but let me just check the price on a couple of these. Okay, so for this really large one right here, it's $49.99. And I'm gonna have to check to see if any of these are on sale. Uh, let's see, a smaller one right here is $19.99. This is a nice simple one. This is a really large one right here with some really big green leaves on it. Let's see. $49.99 for this one. And this one right here is really simple but cute. $24.99 for this. I like this one. So I might just get one right now temporarily until my sister makes the one that I really want. Let me know which one you think I should get. This one for $24.99 or this one right here for $19.99. This one has like eucalyptus and some little white flowers on it. And then this one just has like these light green leaves. Also, I wanted to show you that Hobby Lobby has the egg chair on sale for 30% off and it's now $299.59. So it's about the same price as the one at Walmart by Better Homes and Gardens. So from Hobby Lobby, I ended up purchasing one of the beaded wreaths for $9.99. It wasn't on sale. 
Also, I picked up this eucalyptus garland. It was actually like in the wedding section by a brand called His and Hers. And so all the items in that brand were half off. So this was about $9.99. And I got this little fan and two of these burlap roses. Also got a wreath hanger. I got a black one because the door's black to kind of make it blend in with the door. And I already had this E6000. So I think I'm actually gonna try to make this wreath myself. I don't think it'll be too hard to do. Um, being that this is a garland, I'll just wrap this around it and I'll probably like put this on the side and then add a couple of the roses, you know, like here and here. So it'll look something like this. So I'm gonna work on that right now. Okay, just a little update. I actually found this wreath here that I had for a while from the Dollar Tree and I decided to go ahead and use this to make a temporary wreath. And I'll probably just use the materials that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And um, I'll keep the wooden bead one for my sister so she can make her version of the wreath that I um, told her that I would like. So, so far I put the eucalyptus garland on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the other materials and see how it turns out and then that way I have more than one wreath that I can switch out on my front door. Here's a quick look at what the front porch looked like before and here's the after. didn't get a chance to trim down those topiary plants but I will do that later let me know in the comments how you think everything turned out if you like this type of video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more plant shopping and plant related videos. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and take care. Mm -hmm.